Okay, so this uh, little tutorial will talk about how to share a Google Calendar. Over here you have many different calendars you can turn off or on um, by just clicking the color-coded box over here. Um, so if I'd like to share my calendar with someone, there are two levels of settings uh, for Google Calendar. For my calendars, you use a drop-down menu, you can create a new calendar and go to settings. This settings will show you all the different calendars you have available to you on the left. And if you don't want to see them anymore, you can hit unsubscribe and I'll remove it. Um, notice you do not have it unsubscribed for your calendar because that's the default one. You can't get rid of that one. Then each individual calendar has their own drop down menu to their own settings, specifically to itself. And you can obviously change the color here too as well. So if I go to calendar settings, it takes you to the main area of sharing your calendar with a web address or renaming your calendar. I can also click over to share this calendar to get into the sharing settings. I could also decide just to go directly to my sharings area by just doing the drop down menu instead of going to calendar settings, then click the share this calendar link. This will take me directly there. So basically, instead of coming from here to here, I can come just directly to that area by doing share this calendar. So there's basically two levels. Um, the top level is for people who do not have a Google account or you want to limit things to your uh, Google Apps for Education domain. Um, so if I want to share this, say it's a geometry classroom and I want to sh share it to a, a parent, I can make the calendar public and let them see of all event details. And that way, when I share out the calendar as through a web page embedded in or a link, um, they can see the assignments and tests. They don't have to worry about logging into a Google account. If it is a personal calendar and you don't want anyone else to see it, then just uncheck that. And then basically no one can see it except for the people you specify down below. The other level then is sharing it within your organization inside your Google Apps for Education account. So this way, if someone needs to schedule a meeting with you, they can see your schedule. But also notice you can either show them all event details or free and busy. If you leave see all event details, that means anyone in your organizational unit, and maybe even kids if they are in your organizational unit for Google Apps for Education domain, then they'll actually be able to see all your event details. Or you could just see free and busy. I'll show you what that looks like on this end here. Um, so for example, my boss, Amy Flannery, um, has her calendar in purple. There it is. But all I do is see busy because that's how she shared it with me. Where my other boss, Chris Trickett, has sh shared me with all of his details so I can actually see um, the details of his events rather than just seeing busy or free time. So again, if I go back in to share this calendar, basically you can say, see all event details are busy. Again, just making sure, understanding that this is within the school district and this would be anyone outside without a Google account. Then down below, I can actually add individuals. So if I do add my boss, Amy Flannery, I can give her different rights. I can say she can make changes and manage sharing. Basically everything that I can do for my calendar except for delete it. She can add other people to see my calendar with that level of um, rights or permissions. And down here is I can just say, hey, you can only change my events. Or I could say, you know what, you can only see my events. Or you can say, you know what, you can only see my free and busy time. And at any time I can remove the individual people. So for example, I work closely with Dan and Rick here, and they're allowed to make changes to my calendar events because a lot of times they uh, populate my calendar. My personal account, unfortunately, is not allowed to go any higher than see all event details because it's a security feature that we have set up in our Google Apps domain. Okay, so once you hit save and go back to your calendar, then your calendar will be shared. Another place you can uh, request access to someone else's calendar. So if I type in, um, for instance, uh, George Fiore here, principal, it'll basically say, hey, do you want to request access to their calendar? Now, if a person in your district already has it set that anyone can view your calendar, for instance, Mr. Bender here, it'll automatically add it. And then now I can see his and you can see it says busy here. And that's on Mr. Bender's calendar. So he set, shared it as busy and um, allows me to add him. Um, if I need to remove his, I just go up to my calendars and go to settings. And then down here, I can see Mr. Bender and hit unsubscribe. Okay, so hopefully that helps you out with understanding how to share your calendars. Thanks.